morning, my friends. Ruben Obed here, transmitting live <clears throat> from Dorado, Puerto Rico. And um, I'm doing this tutorial because this is something that I have not seen online. And, um, you know, via my own personal experience, I have run across some situations in charging a battery bank from a charger that is connected to a generator. Okay? Now, I'm going to show you my setup right now, what's going on here. This is six deep cycle batteries in parallel. It's, you know, I have a solar system, but it's actually early in the morning. And I generally wake up in the morning if I see it's a little bit cloudy. I run the generator for an hour or two, you know, just to give it a little boost. You know, then if the sun comes out, I let it finish it off. But what happens is I have it hooked up to this Schumacher um, charger. Now, this Schumacher charger uh, has a boost of 40 amps, so it's a really good charger. And I've done reviews on it. Now, what happens is this. When you hook up a charger like that to a generator, there's a couple of things that you got to be worried with. And I'm going to explain to you. If we come over here, all right, and pardon the noise. All right, sorry about that. That's the generator. I can't get close because my signal went out. And But if you notice well there, I have a kilowatt meter on it okay and it's giving me 105 volts right now 105 volts now what happens okay let me come over here this is the same type of generator two cycle and this is what i'm using to charge um the, the system now what happens is this guys if right when i turn the generator on i gotta make sure that the voltage is at least at 120 before plugging in the charger because if you don't check that and your your idle or, or your, your generator is too accelerated the voltage will be too high and it will burn out your battery charger now so the correct process is this all right shout out to Austin all right the correct process is this you turn on your generator you re let it run a little bit you know let it you know warm up put a kilowatt meter on it and check your voltage make sure your voltage is at 120 now what happens is once that is done okay once that is done then you go to your charger all right and you make and then you you know basically you plug in your charger okay now what will happen what will happen is that your generator's voltage the moment you turn the charger on the voltage will drop to like 98 and you'll notice that it'll start surging it'll be like mm, 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 and you don't want that because that'll mess up your charger too it'll burn it out so you make sure that the charger is running at 120 I mean 120 volts 115 and when you turn on the charger you gotta run back to the generator and with a, with a screwdriver accelerate it a little bit until the point that it'll reach you like let's say 106 volts okay 106 108 volts you're gonna be fine all right then it'll stable out and it'll and it'll run your charger but what happens is this if you don't do this one of two things are happening your charger is gonna mess up or your generator is gonna accelerate and the voltage will spike to 180 and it'll burn out your charger and I'm talking from personal experience now right now I, I'm I'm hearing the charger. It's it sounds a little bit accelerated, right? It sounds a little bit. So what I want to do, I hope the signal does so good. If I see, if I see that it it goes up to 18 with the charger on, then I I drop it down. I keep it under load. I keep it at around 108. All right. Now what happens? And this is this is a big no no. Once you have your charger hooked up. And your generator running if you disconnect your charger if you disconnect that all of a sudden there's gonna be a surge spike it's gonna go whoo your generator is gonna surge up to 180 and that surge will come right back and it'll burn out your charger all right so once you got have this running you don't want to touch it you don't want to turn off the generator when it's putting and the charger you don't want to turn it off when it's putting out 20 30 amps you know, because that's a disaster waiting to happen. And when I say disaster, it's not like you're not, you're not going to get an explosion from your batteries, but your charger will burn up. That's a hundred and something dollar charger right there. You know, now, 
so that that's what I gotta say. I, I mean, I emphasize people get yourself a kilowatt meter and monitor when you're when you're running your generator. I mean, your charger off of a generator, especially one of these. You know, um, these are kind of like Harbor Freight type two cycle gener generators. You gotta monitor the voltage because they will burn out. You know, and do not turn off your chargers midway. Don't you do it because you're gonna get a voltage spike and what it's gonna burn out. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you keep those two things in mind, you won't have any issues. But you gotta be very meticulous with this. Very meticulous. Um, these little generators, they fluctuate a lot. You know, from from the factory, they might give you 130 volts, 140 volts. You know what I mean? And and that's just what it is, you know. This is these aren't inverter generators. These are little cheaper ones. They work. They do the job, you know. But you gotta know what you're doing, because you're gonna be burning out um, chargers. And me, I'm, I mean, I'm talking to you guys about this, but the reality is, even with my own experience, sometimes I've made mistakes. Sometimes I accidentally unplugged the wrong cable. You know what I mean? Um, but th that's what can happen. Now, um, like I said, like I said make sure you're monitoring your voltage you know so once again just to recap turn on your generator first without connecting the battery charger all right turn it on first make sure it's at about 120 let it run a couple uh, you know a couple four three or four minutes for the generator to warm up then connect your charger once you connect your charger and you turn the charger on you will notice that your voltage will drop down to like 98 and it's gonna surge then you take a screwdriver and you, you know, rev it up just a little bit, you know, and bring it up to at least 106. Or, or even, even in the beginning, it won't go all the way up to 106. It'll probably go up to 101, 102 volts. Leave it there. It'll go up gradually, little by little, and it'll stabilize, you know. But what you don't want is for that big power surge to just go through your system because you, it's going to, you know, your generator is going to rev up like to 108. Like right now, you guys saw that the voltage was at 106. If I right now take the clamps off of the battery, just one clamp, that voltage from that generator will shoot up to 180. You know, it'll shoot up, you know. Um, maybe, you know, like a an inverter generator would be better, you know what I mean? But if when we have these mechanical, cheapo ones, you know, we gotta learn how to work with what we have. They work, they do the job. You know, um, my battery bank, is a 516 amp hour battery bank okay as you can see right there not counting this battery all right that's 516 amp hours and with that little generator in three hours this is totally full totally full now another thing what i do is when i turn the generator i, I turn it on at seven in the morning until 10 10 30 because what happens is that when the sun comes out really strong, if you have your solar connected to it, if the sun is coming out, right, see right now you see the battery is at 12.8, so it's still got a, a, way, a ways to go. But the sun will throw it all out of whack. So when the sun is coming out real strong, all of a, num all of a sudden you'll notice that the generator will speed up and slow down. So it's better to turn your generator on if you're just using it to top off your batteries it's better to turn your generator on like in the morning when the sun isn't exactly on top of your solar panels like that you won't get all that variation in the voltages you know so me person so at seven in the morning i turn on the generator to like maybe 10 10 o'clock in the morning you know depending if i see that the day's cloudy i'll maybe leave it half an hour longer at, at most 11. um i don't have to but I kind of like the fact of waking up, I turn the generator on, you know what I mean, um, I top off the batteries, and if the sun comes out, you know, cool, you know, I use the, the electric power, you know, all day, you know, use the sun, if, you know, because, it, 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 you know, the sun is something, okay, it'll, it'll charge, you know, and I have, I have 770 watts of power on the roof, but I look at it this way, I have the generator there, you know what I mean? I could, you know, give give my batteries a little head start in the morning. You know what I mean? Um, if if you know it re it, it um cycles the um, excuse me, I just ate breakfast. Um, it cycles the gasoline so you don't end up with old stale gas. You know, so 
I, I personally like doing it. I mean, I don't have to. Let's say in an apocalypse type situation when there is no gasoline, hey, my, my solar system will charge up the batteries. The only thing, they'll end up being charged, uh, fully charged later on in the afternoon, like maybe 2 o'clock, 3, by 3 o'clock. When I do it this way, you know, by 12.30, the batteries are fully charged, you know. But, you know, like, like I said, put a kilowatt meter, monitor your voltages on, on, you know, if you don't want a burned up um, battery charger, they will burn up. You know what I mean? These generators, they're unstable with the voltage, they spike and, you know, <laughs> I, I've gone through a couple of, of um, a, a couple of chargers already learning all these things. And the one that hurt the most was the previous Schumacher charger, this big one, because I burned one of these out. I burned one of these out. And then what happened was, and they're great chargers, they're about 150, almost 200 bucks. And I burned it, burned it out, and then my stupid ass opened, tried to open it up. And when I noticed that I couldn't fix it, I go to Advanced Auto Parts, and it was still under warranty. But since I opened it up, you know what I mean? I invalidated the warranty, so I was shit out of luck. So if you burn yours up, um, don't open it up. Don't try to be, be you know, don't try to be, you know, smart. You know, just take it, try to get a, a, a replacement. I would have gotten a replacement had I not opened it up. So I ended up having to buy a brand new one. But I learned my lesson. You know, I learned my lesson. And they, they have a one-year warranty. So, and the, the, the guy at Advanced Auto Parts said, had you not opened it, we would have just given you a brand new one. Uh, <laughs> adding insult to injury. But like I said, that's how you do it. You know, monitor your voltage. Um, don't turn off your generator, you know, I mean, don't turn off, off your charger. If you're done, if you don't want to charge no more, turn the generator off first. You see, like, there, there you won't have any voltage spikes, you won't have any issues. Don't turn off the generator first, because all of a sudden you're causing a huge surge. It's like, it's pumping out 25, 30 amps, all of a sudden your generator's push, pulling, you know, 30 amps, and you turn the, the charger off. That big surge is still coming in. It's going to burn your shit out. You know? <laughs> I cannot stress that enough. You know? Monitor your voltages. You know? Monitor your voltages. So, I hope this helps. And I hope to save somebody's ass. You know? And it can be done. And and just to answer the, the, the question. This charger. This, right? You get, get these at Advanced Auto Parts. Alright? Yes. They will run. With an 800 watt generator, a little cheapo, it could be Harbor Freight and one of these. That's what I'm running right now. All right, but put a put a kilowatt meter in the front, and um, that's my advice. I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to support the channel, there will be a PayPal link in the description. You know, any donations go towards, you know, me continuing building my system and doing these videos and covering costs. So thanks for all the support, guys. God bless you all. Take care and peace.